Welcome! VR and virtual production isn't just the media we knew and loved from the 20th century in a stereo headset. It's much more than that. VR doesn't simply show us images of the world around us in stereo, in stereo 3D. In a literal sense, sure, that's what it does, but there's a little like saying that music just wiggles the air in our ears. Technically this is true, but too reductive to let us understand the whole picture. VR plays with this, our senses and dances with the cognitive mechanism in which, by which we understand the world. To get into virtual production and VR and learn how to create content for it, we need to accept that this is an entirely new medium and we don't know the rules. We're going to invent the language and everything that we know about it. This is very powerful stuff for creatives. Without question, virtual production or some variant of this technology is likely the defining art form of the 21st century. You'd be right to greet this with assertion and a little bit of skepticism. Given the present state of the technology and how the industry is moving, it takes some imagination to see beyond the horizon of where we actually are now and where we can be. And you're probably seeing that the public expectations are in a race to the actual state of the technology. We've seen the Mandalorian from, from Disney. We've seen very good production quality made in virtual production from Netflix and HBO. But we are going to show you what you can do in a home studio with a little bit of tinkering and get right started. So opinions about virtual production, therefore, are all over the place. If you're in one of these phases where the tech meets, makes the leap forward, people get amazed and excited by the possibilities and the breathless blogs declare that the world has changed thanks to virtual production. If you're in one of these phases where the expectations have jumped ahead, suddenly everybody's disappointed that this Oculus Rift hasn't morphed overnight into the holodeck and we see a lot of disappointment and disillusionment on blogs. So it's impossible to predict where the pendulum will swing when it comes to this exact topic. Here's the reality though, and why we believe that this medium is worth learning right now. Virtual production is coming, it's inevitable, and it changes everything, even if it isn't just right now obvious from the rudimentary state of the first generation of this technology that we will be exploring today. This medium carries the potential to revolutionize the way we learn, play and engage with the virtual world and so much more else that we're going to show and have some fun. But it's going to take time and imagination and the most important part is to stay humble. VP is a medium at its crossroads. The decisions we make to now are going to carry us far into the future. The developers working in this medium will be one of the first to shape its language, its methods, and for the, uh, for the next generation of people working on it. So to summarize, to work in virtual production is to work on the frontier and it's an exciting place to be.